Despite ban on open grazing by Governor Akerdolu, cows take over major streets in Ondo. <laughs> Commuters and residents in Akura Ondo State have reported an increase in the disruptive encounters with herdsmen and cattle grazing along its major roads, despite Governor Rutumi Akurdolu's order banning open grazing in the state. Some residents told Sahara reporters that some cows on Monday blocked a road in Ayedu, a popular street in the state capital, disrupting vehicular movement for many minutes. It was gathered that motorists were forced to stop their vehicles and pave the way for the cows moving freely on the road. Cars were sighted moving freely along the road and in front of NNPC mega station along Elisha Owo Express Way. Akredolo had in general banned movement of cattle within the cities and highways under age grazing and night grazing. Weeks after governors of the southwest states in a meeting in Akure banned open grazing of cattle in the region. So today, the Southwest Governors held a secret stakeholders meeting in Ondo State. The meeting was attended by our brothers, with our brother governors from Kebi and Jagawa State's security chiefs, Southwest Zone led by AIG and others. So collectively, we resolved to ban open grazing in all parts of the Southwest in Oyo State. We already have a law against open grazing, which will continue to be implemented by our security agencies. Really though? Really? In February, the State Executive Council approved a bill to formally ban open grazing and forwarded it to the State House of Assembly. Well, all this is all words. All this is all on paper until it is implemented. What are, if they've banned it? It's banned. So if I, if there's your if they see your cows, the people, the government should go and seize. Or they can. This government, if they can go and you know formulate and bring up you know, um, soldiers to go and massacre, to carry out a massacre with protesters, they can go and seize all these cows and throw these herdsmen in jail. Because you will hear what by force. That is on period, point blank. How can there be a ban and you still have the confidence and the boldness to ex they don't rate the they don't rate the governor exact they don't rate the governor they don't rate the security system i mean obviously there's you know um the amotekun but amotekun is more like a vigilant it's not a proper you know like they they're not like the esn i'd say or correct or prove me wrong or something because they're not efficient look the esn has chased out you know herdsmen they they're gone they literally literally sprayed them out of and swept them out of the eastern part of the country and then here a governor has put a ban and then the fam fam according to the law if a car hit one of the cows or like three or four it would not it would not be an issue they that person would definitely win in court why because it is banned not that you should go and start hitting cows but the country, the, the security forces should go seize those cows. And if they're efficient enough, we have bad roads logistics. Not like as if you can call the police and be like, hey, you know, there's, you know, there's open grazing and these cows are passing the street. Can you just come here quickly? What was the probability that these police officers will come in time? No, they'll probably be told up and whatever. Or they'll be held by horses, I mean, by cows in another part of the, in, in the road. It's just so sad. Nigeria is such a bottom barrel country. <laughs> Our infrastructure is so, so bad that for the daily activities of and the running of the country, everything is just so ineffective. It's a lie. There are busy cities in the world. New York is very, very busy. They have trains. London, very, very busy. So what is Lagos? What is Lagos? I don't understand. I really don't. Because, again, Lagos has the potential to be like New York or London, but still... With poor infrastructure, how would that happen? How? You, you guys come and tell me that Lagos is more busy. It's like self-inflicting. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So it's like, again, it's the same thing for, you know, Akure. Again, if it's a capital, it is probably very, you know, very busy. And so there's no excuse as to why there should not be efficiency with calling the police to come and attack or come and sort out these issues. It's embarrassing. It's so, so embarrassing. I mean, the if it was me, the I, the road rage, it is justified that that um 
that you know drivers press their honk so many times as in block the ears of those cows including the herdsmen somebody says it's the duty of the governor to make law and order but it's the duty of the law enforcement agencies to enforce the law but then they're not ready now is left for the local enforcement agencies to do the need for exactly and if they start if the locals go and start you know snatching these cows and having parties all of a sudden everyone's just sharing cow eating cow there would be a problem they'd say oh you're taking those into your hands i mean honestly i i think it is justified in this case to go and just steal a cow at this point it really is because if you're not going to hear what then i guess you 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 bring the consequences on yourself somebody says all that rubbish laws are against fundamental human rights which hypocrisy in action human rights should have protest again you see obviously this person's grammatical error is just very loud very loud um what i don't even understand i genuinely don't understand <sighs> Someone says, don't forget that these guys are living in the bush. No access to social media to know what's going on in the state. They may not have been informed properly. Yeah, Southwest still has a lot of work to do. That's how I was saying. When you're having secluded places in the bushes, no matter where you go, you can't... There's some part of England, the countryside, it's literally bush. And at least the roads are not up to par like it should be. But you will still have some type of internet connection there. Like, like there's no excuse. There is really no excuse that because it's a secluded area and no one knows what's going on. It is the job of the government to make sure that there's police at every at every point in a secluded area, especially in bushes. Because again, how how if you don't have an emergency contact for people to call and rely on, I mean, it's it's uh, it's sad because it's like why would the people be funding a motekun? And making a whole new police system when they are paying taxes for that to be, you know, spent and utilized on the security agencies. Doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. So personally, I believe that it is justified that the locals do take actions into their hands. Because at the end of the day, Nigeria is a jungle. It really is a jungle. And so it's like you can't apply laws of you can't apply laws of common sense and rationality to a country like Nigeria. You will get frustrated. You have to come to for you to communicate effectively. You have to understand the language of the other party, which you, you know what the language is. It doesn't make sense. Put what you think in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe.